Big Zerg. All right, set four here. Uh, MIT needs to win this, of course. Um, Sidraxis is uh, the player for MIT, and this right now is Big Zerg, the player for uh, Tsinghua University. It is going to be a Zerg versus Zerg matchup, and uh, it is going to be a fast-paced game, that means. Um, Sidraxis here, the, uh, I guess, peach or, uh, yeah, yellow um, Zerg here at the bottom right. Sidraxis, I remember, uh, is the captain of MIT. I do remember I, I saw him play, I think, at least once, uh, maybe during the regular season of the CSL. I don't remember who won. Big Zerg I cast this morning playing against uh, another Zerg player, and uh, it was in set four, which didn't count, but um, Big Zerg did lose that game uh, in, in a very strange way, too. He had all of his drones in the middle of the map, um, and at first I thought he just accidentally moved them to the middle, but it turned out that actually he was being attacked in his main. Um, but I, I, he finished off the lings inside of his main, and yet he kept moving his uh, drones into the middle. They were, you know, streaming towards his opponent's base, which obviously did not go well for him. So he had a GG when uh, he realized he hadn't been mining for a good minute or so. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens here. Sidrax is going for gas uh, after um, Overlord, perhaps for... Uh, Nope, just for early gas. I thought it was going to be for a uh, extra drone trick, but um, usually you don't see that very often. So he is going to be going for extra gas. We have seen that done by several Zerg players of late. And he's probably going to go for maybe uh, a pool on 11, perhaps. Meanwhile, let's see what Big Zerg does. The last time we saw uh, Big Zerg went for a 12 hatch in base. And it does look like um, he might be doing that again, because we don't see anything else uh, that's possible. Yeah, this is a 12-hatch in-base. We've seen that a few times, actually, um, in, in the Cotter Cup and in the CSL. It's uh, actually quite a common build among non-pro uh, Zerg players. I think it's um, they mainly do it if they're not very confident about uh, being able to control their lings well enough to block um, incoming lings. And really, it's not a horrible build. Um, I personally wouldn't do it, but um, I don't think it's a horrible build. See, the thing is, the problem with Sidraxis' build is that he built his uh, spawning pool a little too late. He's got a lot of gas, but you know he's not going to be able to make a lair <laughs> for a while because uh, his spawning pool is so late. Anyway, we're seeing the 12 hatch here, and uh, obviously Sidraxis is not going to be able to take this out anytime soon. Um, Let's see if he gets gas immediately. He should be getting gas at this point also. Um, he is going to be slightly economically behind this entire game, and uh, he'll be behind a hatchery, more importantly, the, pretty much the entire time. Um, I'm actually surprised he's not even going for speed. Uh, maybe he's forgotten, or maybe he really wants to save every bit of gas possible for uh, mutalisks, but I don't know if that's a great idea. Let's see what Big Zerg decides to do with his first 100 gas, if he's going to go for uh, speed or if he's going to go for lair. He's going to go for Lair. That's a correct thing to do, I think. There's, uh, unless you've scouted your opponent and you see something specifically that um, going for speed first would be able to counter, uh, going for mass lings, basically. Um, you, going for Lair first is always safe after a... It was always correct after a 12 hatch. So, um, the issue I have with Big Zerg... I'm um, sorry, with uh, Sidraxis' build is that uh, I don't know if he'll be able to handle um, fighting against... And the lings are going to come out. Because uh, once Big Zerg realizes what's going on, which is going to take a while because Big Zerg scouted in the wrong direction, um, he's probably going to mass a lot of lings and try to finish off Sidraxis before he can get a spire up. And uh, Sidraxis now has a spire building. Um, this means that, given the timings, he is going to have Mutalisks uh, for quite a bit of time before Big Zerg can uh, get hit anything up in the air. So Big Zerg might be forced to uh, go Spore Colony. Um, on the other hand, he probably will try to go for an attack soon, but Sidrax has actually quite smartly uh, created a nice choke point there um, to defend himself with. I really like that, actually. Hopefully he's done it correctly, though. Because if you do it incorrectly, uh, sometimes you can actually even give your opponent the edge. Especially if you miss micro your lings back and forth. You can be the one actually attacking with a fewer number against a greater number. So we'll see. This is going to come down to Ling Micro. He has fewer Lings than Big Zerg. And if he plays his cards right, he could be able to pick up a big advantage if he defends. But on the other hand, Big Zerg could end the game very, very quickly. 
we'll see. So Drax is right now building a sunken colony. That's smart. I think uh, once he kills off a couple of lings, he should, needs to retreat. And as you can see, Big Zerg just streaming um, lings. He's got his spire building, and there's the attack from Big Zerg. Let's see how well he does uh, in this time around. Um, this time around, obviously, Sidraxis doesn't have a, um, a, zing, a ling sneak around like the Big Zerg's opponent did last time. So Big Zerg now moving in. Sidraxis with three unspeed upgraded uh, lings. Um, and he's going to have to do a very good drone defense of the Sunken Colony here. I think he is going to be able to do it, though. But no, more Lings getting us around. This is going to be a very close one here. The Mutas are barely not out yet. The Lings on our bottom are doing so much damage, but the drones are killing off so many of the Lings. The drones, I think, will take the battle. Oh, wow. That was a very close photo finish here. The Lings are not going to be able to take out this... Um, a sunken colony, and I think with that, Sidraxis is hugely in the lead. If Sidraxis plays his cards right right now, and by that I mean he needs to. Oh no, you don't want to let the lings kill off your main. Oh god, um, the sunken colony only has 42 hit points. Let's not forget. So this could be an elimination battle. Oh man, oh this is bad. Um, I think this is bad for Sidraxis. Uh, yeah, Sidraxis, no matter what, is not going to be able to hold against this many uh, lings, and now he is going to lose stuff everything in his main. Um, so is he going to be able to do enough damage with his counterattack is the question. I don't know um, because it seems that Scourge have killed off all but one of the Mutas. Uh, on the other hand though, um, that one Muta is doing a good amount of work, but no, Sidraxis GG's. Oof, hard loss for Sidraxis to take. I think he made a tactical error there. Um, I think he should have built uh, probably one more Sunken um, and uh, he shouldn't have. Uh, man, I don't. I don't think it was a good idea to go fly his mutas over there like he did. But uh, you know, that's that's all in the past. GG. Uh, this means, of course, that Tsinghua University is the winner of the first ever Cotter Cup. Congratulations, Tsinghua. It ends with a Zerg versus Zerg. We've seen plenty of Zerg versus Zergs throughout the entire cup, but uh, it really has been a very, very um, uh, good run for them. I gotta say. Uh, Tsinghua beating out the Korean team, uh, then beating out Beijing University, and now finally beating the best American team, MIT, in the finals. And uh, MIT, of course, has played very well and uh, certainly um, done us all proud in the in the cup so far and uh, you know throughout the entire cup. They've been uh, really good sports. Um, and, and we're going to probably see a ace match right now uh, as an exhibition match, of course, because... Uh, you know, Tsinghua has won, and uh, with that, they're going to win $750. That's also not bad. And, of course, uh, a trophy, too, according to Hazel. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, we're moving on right now to see if there's an ace match that will be played.